Hey guys, Dr. Chad here. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, so for today's workout, uh, real quick, what I want you guys to do is go get a belt. Just any belt will do. We just need something that you can hold and loop around, right? So we need to get a belt, right? So make sure you have a belt because we're going to do a hip stretch. As you come in, uh, please let me know if you can hear me, if you can see me okay. Uh, that we had some audio trouble in the breathing course, uh, but I want to make sure you guys can hear me and see me okay. Um, so yeah, how we doing here? How we doing here? Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. We're going to have a really nice workout today. Also, today's workout is going to be on the floor. Uh, we're going to be working on our back for much of the time. So a portion of this, these, today's workout could be done on the bed. Um, and then there's going to be a portion in the middle where we're going to get on our hands and knees. So See and hear okay. Okay, thank you, Lori. Thank you, thank you. So uh, it's gonna be a nice workout. So if you're someone who has t trouble getting on your hands and knees, maybe just do the first part and the last part. And if you always want to, you can go and do a standing workout if you just go to the unit section. So um, I made a quick announcement in the beginning here. If you guys can get a belt, okay, any belt will do. I have a, a gate belt here, but any belt will do. Just something that you can loop, right? You wanna get that belt and then loop it, okay? because we're gonna put this around our foot to do a nice little hip stretch. So if you guys can do that now, just go ahead and go to the closet, uh, find, find a belt. Uh, the stronger the belt, the better. The longer the belt, the better, but you don't, I mean, you'll, you'll be fine no matter what. So if you guys can go and get your belt now, this is what's needed. Also, it'll be helpful if you have your TheraBand handy, right, and make it a loop if you can. You don't necessarily have to have a band, but it'll be really helpful if you do have a band because you'll get some added resistance in your hips. So two pieces of equipment today, a belt and a band, okay? Again, you don't have to have the band. You don't necessarily have to have the belt, but it's a big plus, okay? So when you guys get those things and you come back, let me know, give me a thumbs up that you are ready, you have your belt and you have your band, and I'll know that we're ready to go and I'll go ahead and get started. So, yeah, hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. And also, if you can, check in, let me know how you're feeling right now. Give me a number, dash, before. Number, dash, before. And afterwards, we'll do a number, dash, after. 10 is you feel fantastic. It's the best day in the world ever. And like one is I'm feeling terrible. I need an ambulance to come. Take me to the hospital right now. So just let me know. Um, and I also love to hear your pain points. You know, if you have pain in your knee, pain in your hip, pain in your shoulder, let me know. And then I can look at the group and see, oh, the group really needs to work on shoulders more. Uh, the group really needs to work on hips more. So um, that all helps me co-create this course with you. And uh, today is going to be focused on glutes and hips. So, oh, Anna, you're a 10 before. We, could, we got at least some room to go up. How about we go up to 13, maybe 14 today. So you guys ready? Have your belt. Everybody have a belt. I mentioned this at the beginning, but we still got some people coming in. So if you're joining me today, make sure you have your belt here. You want to loop it. We're going to put this around our foot, okay? So you go ahead and get your belt and get your phone or your computer and get nice and comfortable. I'm going to go ahead and get started and show us the stretches, okay? So first thing we're going to do, all right, Laura, six plus, we're going, to, we're going to take that up. First thing we're going to do is a nice hip stretch, okay? So what you're going to do is loop this belt around your foot, just like so, okay? That way you can pull on it like this, okay, with a straight leg. All right, and we're gonna lay down, and what you're gonna do is take that leg up, keeping the leg straight, and when you get here, then you're gonna take it over, keeping your shoulders on the ground. Hold for five seconds, come back up, and down. Here it is, up, going over, little pause, up, and down. So you're getting a lot of stretch on the hamstrings, on the IT band, and stretching the hip capsule in adduction. Adduction is crossing over the body. And this is a great way to open up the hip. It's also really great for knee pain. A lot of people have knee pain because of really tight IT bands. Let's do one more. Nice and over. And Marina, I think you've been mentioning your right hip's been hurting. This is a really good exercise for your right hip. Okay, right here, we'll do the left. I'm gonna show you on this angle so you can see both sides. So five repetitions, going up, going over, and then back. My shoulders stay on the ground, 
And I try to keep my hips on the ground as best I can. And over, nice and easy. Up and back. And just breathe easy with this one, especially when you go over to the side, exhale. Try to keep your knees straight throughout. We'll do one more here. Good. All right, letting go of this. And now we'll do 10 dead bugs, okay? So laying on your back, taking your arms and knees up, okay? You're gonna take your opposite arm, opposite leg. Hold, back. So it'll be a nice three second period. So, and then take the opposite arm, opposite leg again. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, three. And keep your back as flat as you can. Squeeze your pelvic floor like you have to go to the restroom. And keep focusing on that point right below your belly button where you're keeping your back flat, squeezing your pelvic floor. That engages the core on the anterior side. And the better you can stabilize that pelvis, the better position you're gonna put your back. So this is a great way to strengthen the back by strengthening the supporting structures around the lumbar spine. And you should be shaking. Make a fist with your hands, point your feet. And if it's too difficult to do the opposite arm, opposite leg, just do the legs. That's all. Last one here. Okay, good. And now take that band. We're going to loop it around our knees. We're going to do five tempo bridges. Okay. So right here, imagine a bowl of soup. So putting the band around your knees, you don't have to have a band, but it helps. Put a, put a bowl of soup, imagine a bowl of soup below your belly button. You're going to tilt your pelvis by tilting that bowl of soup towards you and roll up segment by segment. Up, 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 up. When you're at the very top, squeeze the glutes and now take the knees out. Come in with the knees very slowly and then roll down. We're gonna do five of these. Go up as high as you can. Tilt the bowl of soup towards you. Roll up, 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 all the way up, up, up. Knees out, hold. Knees in slow and down. Bring your feet in a little bit closer together, roll the bowl of soup up, 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 knees out, knees in slow and down slow. Let's do two more. Roll up, 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 knees out, knees in slow and then down, nice and slow. Let's do one more. Roll the bowl of soup towards you, up, 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 Knees out, knees in, and then down slow. Perfect, perfect, perfect. One round here. So let's go back to the belt. Getting the belt, looping it around the foot. I've lost my loop. You may have lost your loop. Just takes a second to get the loop back. Okay, putting around one foot. Going up, up, up. Keep the leg straight and over. And back up and then down and up, 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 over, back up and down. Remember, relax the face, no tension in the face when you're stretching. That really uh, tightens up all the muscles. So you want to make sure you're always breathing, always relaxing your face. That allows the joint to open up. We don't want constriction, we want relaxation, expansion. One more here, up, 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 going over. Ooh, feel that stretch. That's a really nice stretch in the hip. And then back down. You should be feeling the stretch. Now let's go to the other side, looping around the other foot. Okay, 
and going up, 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 up. Going over, keeping the legs straight, feeling it in IT band. You should feel a nice stretch right on the side here, coming back and then down. Try to keep the leg as straight as you can. Feel that hamstring stretch and then just go to the side. Good, try to keep your shoulders on the floor. Try not to roll your body to that side. It's all in the hip. So make sure you feel that stretch in the hip. Good. Let's do one more. Up, 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 up. And then over. Ooh, yep. And then back and then down. Good. Now let's do the dead bugs. <clears throat> okay, arms up, knees up. Right here. You're gonna take the opposite arm, opposite leg, keep the back as flat as you can. Going slow. Little hold up at the end and then back. Making a fist, pointing the feet. Keep the back, low back, as flat as you can against the floor. You're doing great. Doing great. Nice and flat. Good. Remember, if you can't do the arms and legs, just do the legs first. This is one, the firmer the surface, the better. It's going to be a little difficult, a little challenging to keep your back flat on a bed. So the firmer the surface, the better. Always with these floor exercises. I know some of you, it might be painful on your knees, but on the back, it might be okay. And we should get on the ground if we can. We should never lose the ability to get off the ground. So keep practicing. You get better over time. Nice and easy. Keep that back flat. Look straight up. Stay strong. Doing good, guys. One more on the other side. We'll move back to our bridges with the band. Okay. Let's get the band around the knees again. Doing good. Welcome, everybody. We got some new people coming in. The group had a lot of newcomers over the week. So, guys, every Monday through Friday, we're doing workouts at 9.30 Central Time, doing breathing courses 9 o'clock Central Time. Always want to join us. So, our bridge again. Imagine the bowl of soup. Tilting the bowl of soup towards you. Rolling up, 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 up. Take the knees out. Bring the knees in. And roll down nice and slow. We're going to do five of these. And this exercise right here, works the other side. The dead bugs work the front side, this works the back side. We wanna do both. This gets the glutes, external rotators, that low back, a little bit of the hamstrings. And these are the things that get you strong in your pelvis, makes your back strong. These are great exercises if you have knee pain, if you have hip pain, if you have back pain. Everybody should be doing these exercises because these are foundational things like brushing your teeth, body hygiene here. This is joint hygiene, spinal hygiene. Good, rolling up. Up, 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 up. And out. Coming in. And then down. Let's do one more here. Rolling up. Up, 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 up. Knees out. Knees in, and then down slow. Good, all right. Coming up to our last round here of the warm up. Going back to the belt, looping it around the foot. Keeping that leg straight again. Go ahead and get that, get ready. And we're gonna go up, and then over, and then back. And then down, breathe nice and easy. Relax the face. Keep the leg as straight as you can. Try to keep those shoulders on the ground. Don't roll the body. Just make sure you get that stretch in the hip. You can feel it. You'll know when you're doing it right because you can feel it. It's like, woo! You'll feel it all the way to the ankle. Even the nerve will be stretched. Such a good stretch for you. Also want to mention that uh, this is just one exercise in the home exercise program for the hip. If you go to the unit section, we have 
home exercise programs. We'll go ahead and switch legs. Home exercise programs for uh, the neck, the shoulder, the hip, the back, and the knee. So always go there if you're having a, a, a single issue. You, you can do that home exercise program and do this. It's completely okay. And then going back up and then down. Good, going up, going over, going up, going back down. Up, over, back up, and back down. Two more, relax the face and breathe. Straight leg, over, back up, and down. One more here, you're doing good. Up, 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 and over, back up, and down. Good. Going back to 10 dead, dead bugs here. Remember, keep the low back flat. Use the opposite arm and opposite leg. Okay. Going up, just use the legs if you have to, and let's go. Moving it out, flat back, and return. Opposite arm, opposite leg, keep the back flat. Take a good three seconds to go there. Good three seconds to come back. Three seconds to go out. Three seconds to come back. Can you keep the low back flat the entire time? And breathe at a nice steady pace on your own. So you're not inhaling one direction or inhaling the other. This is more where the time under tension like this, you wanna find a good balance on your own. If you can, just try to breathe in and out of your nose. If you have to breathe out of your mouth, that's okay though. But try to find control and rhythm in your own breath as you keep your back flat and you spread out the arms and legs and you move slow. One more. Good. And putting that down. And now let's get the band again around the knees. Five good tempo bridges. Keep the feet a little bit closer than a normal bridge. So maybe about three inches apart. Imagine that bowl of soup. Tilt that bowl of soup towards you. Going up segment by segment. Up, 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 up. Out with the knees. In, 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 in. And then down slow. Rolling down. Rolling up, 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 up. Going out with the knees, in, down slow. Remember to roll up segment by segment. Tilt the bowl of soup, soup towards you. Roll up segment by segment, up, up, up. Squeeze those glutes, knees out, knees in, slowly rolling down. Two more, tilting towards you. Up, 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 up. Knees out, two, three, hold two, three, in, two, three, down, two, three. Good, again, tilt the bowl of soup towards you, up, two, three, knees out, two, three, knees in, two, three, rolling down, two, three. Let's do one more just for fun. Rolling up, two, three, knees out, two, three, Knees in, two, three, down, two, three. Woo, there we go. All right, guys, well done, well done. All right, so now we're gonna get into our workout. So I hope you guys got that one. Hello, Faye, good to see you here. Okay, so we're gonna do three rounds of a 30 second plank, 10 wiggles, 10 bird dogs, and 10 cat camels. I'm gonna walk us through as we do this. I'm gonna get the timer on a 30, Second plank, guys, 30 seconds. So remember on the plank, keep the feet together, lock the legs straight, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes, squeeze your pelvic floor like you have to go to the restroom. Brace your stomach like someone's gonna punch you, but don't suck it in. Think about pulling the elbows towards the feet. Make sure that this arm is perfectly vertical. You're not forward on it, okay? And at the same time, be able to breathe, be able to relax your neck and breathe. Let's get going. 30 seconds and just do the best you can. If you can't do all 30 seconds, can you do 15? Can you do, can you do 10? Just do the best you can. Okay, let's go. 30 seconds. Squeeze the glutes. Lock the legs straight. 
Hold your pelvic floor. Pull the elbows to the feet. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Make sure this forearm right here is perpendicular to the ground. Keep going, keep going. Breathe, 15 seconds. Lock the legs straight. Squeeze the glutes even harder. Squeeze your pelvic floor like you have to go to the bathroom. Pull the elbows to the feet. Relax the face, but stay tight. Stay tight. Breathe, but stay tight. Breathe, but stay tight. Good. Awesome. Now let's come up all fours. And we're going to do a wiggle. So what you're going to do with the wiggle is you're going to look at your right tail. Look at your tail on the right side. Look at your tail on the left side. Look at your tail on the right. Look at your tail on the left. Here it is again from the side. Look at your tail on the left. Look at your tail on the right. As best you can. Look at your tail on the left. Look at your tail on the right. Or just look at your left heel. Look at your right heel. Well, however far you can look. Look at your left heel. Look at your right heel. Look at your left heel. Look at your right heel. Look at your left heel. Look at your right heel. Good. Now we're going to do our bird dogs. Okay, on all fours, take the opposite arm and opposite leg and go one, two, three, hold, two, three, down, two, three. Making a fist and pointing the foot down, two, reaching with the heel, down, two, three. Don't overarch the low back, down, two, Three. Just use the legs or just the arms if this is too difficult. Keep the low back flat. Imagine a bowl of soup here on your back that you don't want to spill. Nice and tight. Up, two, three, hold, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three, hold, two, three, down two, three, up, two, three, hold, two, three, down, two, three, good. Move the arm, wrist around a little bit, come up, cat camel, okay? On all fours, arching up, bring the head together with the hips, arching the other way. <sighs> Inhale up, exhale away. <sighs> Inhale up, Exhale away. Find good balance between your hands and your knees. Make sure your hands are just about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider. Your knees are directly under the hips. And try to arch both directions as much as you can. So you're looking in as much as you can, looking up as much as you can. One more. Okay. Move those wrists around. Shake them out. Little circles. We're getting ready for round two. Back to the 30-second plank. Remember, just do the best you can. Be in here as long as you can in this plank. Okay? And let's go. Feet together. Lock your legs straight. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the pelvic floor. Bring the elbows to the feet as hard as you can. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Lock the leg straight. Lock the leg straight. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the pelvic floor. Push through with your shoulders, but still breathe. Rotate your, le your neck left and right, but squeeze your glutes. Rotate your neck, but squeeze your glutes. Breathe, breathe. Five seconds. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Good. And let's go back to our wiggles on all fours. Look at the right heel, or look at the left heel. Look at the right heel. Look at the left heel. Look at the right heel. Left, right. Have a good position with your wrist. Good balance between your knees and your hands. Make sure you're not too far forward on your hands or too much on your knees. Equal pressure between your hands and your knees. As you look to the left, look to the right. Breathe easy.
One more. Good, come back. Shake out the wrists a little bit, move them around. All right, now we're doing our bird dogs, 10 total. Good balance on all fours, the hands and the knees. Find a good position in the back where it's straight. Take the opposite arm and opposite leg and go out. One, two, three, hold, two, three, back, two, three. Other side, one, two, three, hold, two, three, back, two, three. Good, out, two, three, hold, two, three, back, two, three. Good, other side, two, three, hold, two, three, back, two, three. Keep going, remember to keep a bowl of soup imagined on your low back that you don't wanna tilt. You don't wanna be rotating. The chest stays looking forward. The belly button stays looking forward. Don't let the hip hike or drop. Make a fist with your hands. Drive through the heel, lengthen through the heel, point your toes down. Three more, up, two, three, hold, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three, hold, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three, hold, two, three, down, two, three, good. And now, cat camel, again, good balance on all fours, arching up, arching down, up, down, up, down. Think about bringing the head and the hips together as much as you can as you arch up, pushing through the shoulders and down. Really get as much length as you can. Pushing, pushing, arching up, bringing heads and hips together. Exhale, arching down, looking up. Keep the elbows straight. Elbows stay straight the whole time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. Shake the wrist out a little bit. How are we doing? Coming up in our third round. Good job, Dario. Had to start. Yep, yep. Okay, very good. Moving the wrist around. We're going back to our last round of 30 second planks. I know somebody's gonna be able to make all three rounds of 30 seconds today. That is a milestone. Can you do it? Can you do it? But even if you can't, just 20 seconds is good, or 10 seconds, or five. Just do the best you can, okay? Let's go, let's go. All right here, lock the legs straight, feet together, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the pelvic floor. Remember to relax your face, move your neck, but stay tight in the glutes. Can you do that? Can you stay tight in the glutes, lock your legs straight, and still move your neck and breathe? Pull the elbows to the feet. Pull the elbows to the feet. You should be shaking. Shake, shake, but breathe, but move your neck, but stay tight in the glutes and lock your legs straight. Lock your legs straight. Squeeze, stay tight, stay tight, stay tight. Good. Back to the hands and knees, doing our wiggle. Right here, good balance position on all fours. Look over to the left heel, look over to the right. Look over to the left. Look over to the right. Breathe easy. Exhaling as you look to the heel. Inhale as you come back to the center. Good, coming back, moving the wrists around a little bit. Nice and easy, moving those, yep. Okay, now we're going back to our bird dogs. Last round, opposite arm, opposite leg. Remember, just use the legs or just use the arms if this is too challenging on the balance, okay? Opposite arm, opposite leg, go for it. <laughs> 
one, two, three, one, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three, hold, two, three, down, two, three. Imagine that bowl of soup that you want to tilt. It's not about doing a zillion movements. It's about mastering these foundational basic movements. This is about human natural movement. These are the foundational things. You do these things, you notice it's easier to carry the groceries. You notice it's easier to go up and down the stairs. You know it's easier to carry the laundry, to put things in the top shelf, to get in and out of your car. And you also start noticing, I'm feeling a little more firm in my butt. I'm feeling a little more firm in my belly. My shoulders are getting more toned. That's what's happening secondary. Your function, getting you out of pain, getting you feeling good, that's primary. You get healthy, the outside takes care of itself. And if you didn't know already, you're already beautiful. That's how amazing you are. You just showed up. There we go. Two more on each side. One, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three, down, two, three. Good. Come back to our last round of cat camels. Big breathing. Inhale as you arch up, exhale as you arch down. So ready? Inhale. Exhale. Into the nose. Out to the mouth. Into the nose. Out to the mouth. Into the nose. Out to the mouth. Can you arch bigger? One more. Okay, now we're getting ready for a cool down, guys. And we're gonna do five alligators, 10 lumbar rotations, just two rounds. Gonna be a nice way to end and breathe and rotate and, and relax our spine, okay? So laying on your side here with your feet together, your knees together, pulling the knees up so the hips are bent, the knees are bent. Put the top arm forward. You've got this straight arm on top. And this is our alligator mouth. And what we're doing here is laying on our side, keeping our knees and hips pointed forward. We're gonna turn and look at that top hand and turn all the way. Get that back shoulder on the ground, get that palm up, and then come back. Nice and easy. One, inhaling as the arm goes up, exhaling as it goes down. Even when the palms go together, that's where you exhale. Inhale as the arm goes up. Exhale as it goes down. Shoulder back on the ground. Turn and look at the hand the whole time. Your eyes are always on the top hand. Back shoulder on the ground. Exhale. One more. Good, turn and rotate to the other side. Okay, alligators on the other side. Same thing here, knees bent, hips bent. Okay, take the top arm, inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Look at that top arm, back shoulder on the ground. So good for your posture, your shoulder, your neck. 
the knots in your upper back, your nerves. This really opens up a lot. It's good for your heart too. Most of us have rounded shoulders that closes off the heart. That literally makes your heart um, feel like it's suffocating when we have a poor posture. When you open up your chest like this, you give room for your heart to pump. You give room for your air to breathe, your lungs to breathe. Remember, this is all connected to your immune system, your nervous system, your digestive system, your physiology, your hormones, movement, breath, water, sunlight, sleep, play. These are, the, these are the basic foundations of health. That's what we talk about here at Native Path, getting you back in harmony with the, your, your natural biology, okay? And now let's do lumbar rotations, so laying on our back, shoulders, to, shoulders laying on the ground, and just rotate your knees side to side. The knees are together, the feet are together, and keep your shoulders on the ground the whole time as you rotate side to side. In, again, inhaling on the way up, exhaling on the way down. in through the nose, out through the mouth. And if you feel like you need to go slower than me, that's okay. If you feel like you, don't go too much faster than me though. It's not, this is more of like an easy, cool down, breathing moment here. And just close your eyes, relax your face. Just really gently, just getting some movement in the spine. A gentle twist. You might have some popping, some cracks. That's just opening up all these restrictions down there. So just trust that, but also just go to your comfort range, your in range. Everybody's different. Last one here, and we'll go back to our alligators for our last round of stretching. So remember to coordinate the breath with the movement here, knees and feet together. And we're looking up, up, up. Look that top hand, back shoulder on the ground. Eyes on that top hand. Keep the knees together. Keep the pelvis pointed forward. Get that back shoulder on the ground with the elbow straight. Making a straight long line with your arms. A very straight line. It shouldn't be bent in the middle where your body is. Arms stay in a straight line. Just making an alligator mouth. Opening up all the way. Last one here. Inhaling on the way up. Exhaling on the way down. Other side, other side. All right. Okay. Hands together. Knees together. Feet together. Turning. Looking at the top hand again. Back, 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 back. Shoulder on the ground. And coming up. <sighs> Inhale on the way up. Exhale on the way down. Last one. All right, guys, way to go, way to go. So congratulations, I would love to hear how that went for you. Hey there, Rita, hey Andrea. Did all the planks with shaking. That's so good, guys. So good. So proud of you. Way to go. So uh, two quick announcements. If you haven't noticed, Coach Rachel has been doing an amazing job of uh, doing Facebook Lives lately with collagen recipes. So if you scroll through, uh, you can see those, but you can also go to the unit section. Everything she's doing, she's archiving there. It's really exciting, and we love sharing more recipes with you. So we got so many ideas. So please give her feedback on what's going on. Also, I mentioned this last Thursday and Friday, but we just came out with our immune-boosting product, Native Defense. Had six of the most potent 
uh, immune boosting ingredients on the planet, vitamin C, vitamin D, elderberry, zinc, quercetin, Siberian ginseng, all these are so powerful and you can just take it all one um, in, in one little like a gel capsule. It's so easy and it's a great thing you can do in conjunction with these breathing exercises, moving, sleeping, getting sun, play, all that stuff, just so you can really come out of this experience uh, much happier, stronger, uh, vibrant, and, and just a, a very good, strong immune system. So we wanna help support you in that. So if that interests you, just put NATIVE DEFENSE in all caps and Rachel will get you a link with a special discount that we're giving only to our private group here and people who signed up earlier. So definitely check that out. Um, and last, I wanna leave you guys with a quote by uh, one of my favorite authors, Kurt Vonnegut. And he said, uh, we are what we pretend to be, so we must be careful about who we pretend to be. I think that's so powerful. You know, I, I used to see all the time, uh, some people, they're just down here and they're just kinda playing a sad story. And I always noticed, this is not a good posture. That hurts your shoulders. That hurts your neck. That hurts your back. We talked about how it closes off our heart. Our digestive system is just getting pinched on. That's not good. Don't pretend to be that. Pretend to be up here. Pretend to be happy. Smile. Like literally, when you change your physiology, you smile, your facial muscles start working, That's, that literally sends a signal to your body to start secreting hormones that boost your immune system, to start improving your digestive system. It puts you in a, that calm, uh, parasympathetic state where you can start relaxing your food, to digesting your food, right? But if we're angry, if we have a face, the body thinks it's under attack. It starts feeling fear and it closes off and it contracts. That lowers our immune system. That's not good for us. So really think about not only the position that we're in, but what kind of thoughts are we thinking? What kind of words are we saying? What kind of actions are we taking? Right? This is, this is our, how we create our reality. Right? And what, what we're about at Native Path is really empowering you to get you to a place of feeling good. We want you feeling good on all levels with the most basic things. Air, movement, food, water, sleep, all these basic things. Right? And you control that. So pretend to be a, an awesome human being. And then notice everyone around you starts going, I want to be an awesome human being too. And then you become a leader. And just, we st just imagine if everybody did that concentrically. You know, if that was the message. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Okay, so thank you guys so much. As you check out, let me know how you're feeling. Give me a number, dash, after. I love you guys so much. Thank you for partici participating. Uh, hey, Mandy, good, for, good to see you here. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.